get here out of this year right now because um, I have this respiratory something. And although I feel okay, I sound horrible and I'm coughing a lot. I'm up most of the night coughing and my right ear is plugged. Yeah, so I am trying to not rush this time. Although I'm very excited to be moving back to my mom's house. I, I'm i notorious for rushing every stage of my life or every season and I really just want to be present and appreciate every moment. So I was originally going to paint these stairs, so the top of the stairs black, but I have a black and white checkered floor that I have that I started stenciling back in November and then got busy like I said in the last video and so I'm going to be redoing that as well but I thought this color is like I can't really tell because it's dark in here right now but it's just a really light like beigey with a little bit of an undertone of brown so I thought it would be pretty we'll see I don't know uh, it'll look better than what it was and I had orange shag carpet on these stairs when I first moved in two years ago and so anything looks better than that I realized recently how special it feels to take something old and reimagine it and completely transform it into something new. I wasn't always this way. I used to be terrified of anything having to do with my creative side. I'd have my mom come over to my apartments in my 20s and decorate them for me. It wasn't until I moved to Oregon in my early 30s that I started to get really curious and play with the different rooms in my home and I realized that I came alive in ways I had been searching for for a really long time. I had finally cracked some kind of mysterious code to a part of myself I didn't know existed. And I haven't looked back, continuing to build upon each project. Not only physically creating something, but building more and more trust within myself. As I tie up these loose ends in this place, I think about where I started as I look forward to where I'm going. I remember how lost and broken I felt when I moved in here, and now I feel like a different person as I prepare to leave. This place has challenged me to create a vision for myself and the life I want to live and project by project move in that direction. With each paint stroke, I think about this and how sometimes we think we are so far from our dreams or where we want to be only to realize that we are actually just around the corner and the way to get there is one step at a time. And sometimes we even feel like we've been led astray or the choices we've made actually were the wrong ones only to realize after time and perspective that in reality this whole time we've been exactly where we needed to be and we've learned exactly what we've needed to learn for the next chapter you always look like you're in trouble but you didn't do anything Creating has become such a significant part of me. It's in these moments when I'm getting lost in the process that I feel most like my true self. I feel the happiest. I feel the most content. I feel like I'm living my life with purpose and intention. And now this next chapter is going to allow me to dive even deeper into this process.
Some people think that going home is a sign of failure. I think it's a gift. Moving home to be with my mom and help her fix up her home is a blessing because it was only a few short years ago that I didn't think that she would still be here. The reality is we never know how long we have with the ones we love. So I'm ready to turn this page and begin this new chapter and I'm excited to share it with you in this space. I know this wasn't the most elaborate project, but it feels really good to have completed it. I love knowing that I'm leaving this space with my touches throughout. I took this blank canvas and created something special. I created a home. I lived here way longer than I ever planned, but it turned out all right in the end. This space cradled me throughout a breakup, the beginning, middle, and now this ambiguous place of a pandemic, having my hysterectomy, and now the death of my stepdad. I've had a shelter to keep me warm and safe, and now I get to take everything I've learned along the way with me. And for that, I am truly grateful. Thank you.